Hi, I'm Josie from Josie Marin Cosmetics. And today I'm going to talk about how to pose for a high fashion or an editorial shoot. So, you know, I've done a few of these. And um, it's all about drama. It's all about getting out of your comfort zone and just making weird poses that give your body some major angles. The more angles, the weirder the shapes, the better. So, uh, let's see. I'll show you some, some poses. It's very good to um, put your hands on the hips and you, you know, sexy poses, not good for high fashion poses. All this like pretty sexy stuff, not happening. So poses that take you out of your comfort zone, like, let me see, what am I doing? I'm putting my back, I'm hunching my back, putting my arms out. If I wasn't wearing this, you could see that there's a lot of bones like kind of popping out and just it's really good to see lots of angles and like move your head. You do like that's kind of too sexy, but pushing out with your arms. A photographer can shoot different angles, but it's really all about giving like major shape, like Poses that look like you're moving, like stop in the middle of the move, are good. Um, working different props or environments is good, but remember to stay strong. Usually, doing editorial, you don't smile unless it's a really that kind of shoot, but it's usually very like serious, as many angles as possible. So pushing things to feel, you can feel the tension in the picture. I've heard that a lot with photographers. I want to feel tension. Almost like they want to see tension in your face. So makeup is got to be strong for these kind of shoots. So I did a smoky eye, and um, it's not it's not a perfect smoky eye. You don't want to have sharp lines. It should be smudgy and kind of messed up. And a nude lip, you know, kind of a smooth, even, not too poppy face. Um, I use smoke eyeshadow and cinnamon to highlight the brow. I used a nude Optimism plumping lip gloss, some tin and moisturizer just to even out the skin tone, and a tiny bit of bronzer. And that's about it. And then you just gotta work it. Work it with your eyes.